Simple Favor is all about Blake Lively's character named uh, Emily, who asks Stephanie, Anna Kendrick's character, for a simple favor to watch her son pick him up from school, and she'll be back later. Well, after Emily goes missing and is found dead, Anna Kendrick has to take care of her son and her husband. But one day, Emily's kid, uh, Emily's kid says to everybody at supper, Hey, my mom says to tell you hi. I saw her today across from the playground. So, it's a big mystery if she's actually alive. It's a real mind death, I think. But I read the book. I knew what was coming. There's some similarities to the book in there, but there's a little bit... A little bit of differences here and there. Here and there, like little, like, pinches of it. But not much. This film is very awesome. I love Anna Kendrick and I love Blake Lively. I love Anna Kendrick more because I'm a big uh, fan of musicals. She was in Pitch Perfect. She was in uh, Pitch Perfect 2, 3, Into the Woods, The Last Five Years, which is one of the best musicals I have ever seen. But she can also do comedy. Uh, she was in um, Mr. Right and Get a Job, which I own. I loved that movie. Uh, she has another movie coming out next year. I believe it's called Mrs. Claus. Now, this film is great, but it's not amazing. There's a few problems here and there, but I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and then give my grade. The good in this film, there's a lot of it. So let's get into it. The acting is amazing from, uh, what's his name? I can't think of his name right now. Henry Goulding, I believe he was also in Crazy Rich Asians this year, which I will also have a review for very, very soon. From what I've heard, he's very good in. Uh, Anna Kendrick steals the show in this. This is a comedic thriller, but it's more of like a drama. There's not much comedy in here. When there's comedy, it does hit. Uh, but if you haven't read the book, this is going to be like a very weird movie to you. The book is better because you can actually see it really clear in your head. And they did a great job putting it on screen, but th there was just some scenes I wanted to see in there, but that's just me. <coughs> Sorry about that, but that's just me. The cinematography is amazing. The screenplay is very good. I think you could have maybe made this a bit longer. It's Nearly two hours, but I wanted to see more, and that's not a gripe. That's a praise for it. It left me wanting more. Now the bad. I think uh, some of the costume design could have... Some of the costumes in the film could have been done a little bit better. But that's pretty much about it. Uh, the kids' acting wasn't great. If I'm not mistaken, the same kid who played... Um, What was that kid's name? What was that kid's name? Okay, I got the name wrong. I was thinking of Derek McCabe, uh, who played Charles Wallace in A Wrinkle in Time. He looked like him, but it was Ian Ho, uh, who played Nicky in the film. He got a little bit annoying, just like uh, Derek McCabe did in uh, A Wrinkle in Time. It's the same style acting. Except they don't call him Nicky, whatever the hell his last name is. Nicky, does it say on the back? No, it does not. Whatever. But this film was very good. I liked it a lot. Not much to say. The picture quality on this Blu-ray is amazing. You get three audio commentaries with cast and crew, eight featurettes, gag reel, flash mob, and deleted scenes. And also, this is rated R if you're wondering, for sexual content and language throughout. Some graphic nude images, drug use, and violence. If you're uh, looking for a film where Anna Kendrick actually gets to kiss the girl this time, you're in luck here. Uh, I remember when Pitch Perfect 3 came out, a lot of people were mad that there wasn't a lesbian storyline in those because apparently there's theories and... 
signs of a lesbian relationship between Anna Camp's character, or no, uh, not Anna Camp, um, Brittany Snow, Brittany Snow's character and Anna Kendrick's character in the Pitch Perfect movies. I I didn't see it, but if you're looking forward to that, then this film has it for you. To me, it's whatever. It's in the movie. Uh, stay tuned for more reviews. My next reviews will be for Goosebumps 2, Haunted Halloween, and The House with a Clock in Its Walls.